What's up everyone? My name is Sal Sincata and you are watching our six light headshot video, but you are tuning into part two. So welcome to part two. If you haven't watched part one, I'm going to put a link here or, or here. I know we can put it somewhere. So it's going to be here. Now, when you're joining us here, we are already at our fourth light. So we're adding a fourth light to the, to the uh, headshot setup. And so in our first video, we covered starting with a single light, adding that second light for clamshell, beauty lighting, adding a third light for our background, and that's where we are picking up right now. So we are going to add, and I'm gonna show you a before and after, uh, an edge light now. So if you wanna have your subject separated from the background, uh, Alyssa here has a uh, black dress on a dark background. So we wanna have some separation, and she's got dark hair, right? So it'd be different if we had uh, somebody with blonde hair on a dark background, they're gonna pop off, but she's got dark hair. How do we separate her, her dress, we introduce a fourth light, an edge light. And just so we can catch up and uh, let you know where we're at, we are using uh, for the entire shoot, a Canon EOS uh, R. We are using uh, for our glass, a Canon EO, um, RF uh, 50 millimeter 1.2. For our lighting, we are using uh, Profoto B10s and B10 pluses. And uh, that's gonna be it for the shoot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain uh, exposure at 5.6 and I'm doing that from an educational perspective so that you understand uh, what things look like. I don't wanna change uh, power settings. I don't wanna introduce uh, different looks and feels from shot to shot. I want you to see educationally how we are building from one light to six lights. And when this is all said and done, I asked it in our first video, I'm gonna ask it to you here, how many lights do you use in your typical headshot? Let us know in the uh, comments, I'm curious. Are you using one? Genuinely curious or are you using uh, five, six, or even more, right? So maybe for you one light um, photographers, I can convince you to add a couple more to your kit. You'll thank me when it's all said and done. And then maybe we're gonna hear some crazy like 15, uh, you're using 15 lights for your headshots. I wanna see your uh, headshots and what those look like. All right, so we're gonna start off on our fourth light. Remember, we're meeting at five, six. My edge light, I like to have one stop less than the main. So the main light, on our subject is gonna be at about five, six. I don't want that edge light. You've seen these lights, they, they look horrible, where the light is being just blasted on the edge and it's blowing out highlights. We don't wanna blow out highlights. So I'm coming in at one stop less. And the key to making this all work, have and use your light meter. Uh, this is not something you're gonna be able to fix in post. So let's get to it. All right, so for the first shot, what I wanna do is uh, pick up where we left off on the previous video with a three light setup. So let's go to that. We've got a main, uh, we've got a fill, and, and we've got a background light. And for what those settings were, be sure to watch that first video, but we're gonna pick it up from here, okay? So here we go, here's what this is looking like. Okay, one, two. So I want you to see what that's looking like, and you can see uh, there's no hair light, no edge light on her, okay? And so what I wanna do now is show you what adding just a hair light is gonna look like. So I'm gonna turn off uh, both of these lights just to show you what the hair light is gonna look like. Now the hair light is uh, a B10 plus uh, and it's got a 10 degree grid on it. I don't want light spill everywhere. I just wanna shape and hit the uh, left side of her body or camera right. So now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with just the hair light here. So you're gonna see not a whole lot of ambient light in the room and nothing illuminating Alyssa. Here we go, one, two. And what you're seeing there is just how that edge light, you're looking at it on camera, is shaping uh, camera right side of her hair uh, in the right side of her arm. And by the way, this is a great way to learn how light works together, is to dial in one light at a time. So I've already metered that light that light's hitting her at, at about 402. Uh, so 40 and two tenths, right? So the main light's at five six that she's being illuminated at. So this is not meant to overpower the main light. This is meant to complement uh, and shape her. So now let's turn on all our lights and show you a shot with all four lights working together. I'll turn it on. Okay. So now all the lights are here and let's see what we've got. 
uh, clean up your hair. All right, right there. All right, here we go. One, two. One, two. All right, so now what you're looking at here, you're seeing how this is building an additive in nature. Uh, that edge light just shapes her dark hair, shapes the right side of her body, is not overpowering it, um, and making this better, uh, this image even stronger as we continue to add to it. Okay, so now you're seeing how a fourth light can really shape it, uh, shape this shot. Whereas with three lights, it was still a great looking portrait. Two lights, it was a great looking portrait. So you might be sitting there wondering, I I'm sure many of you as you're watching this video, like who needs six lights, who needs seven lights, who needs eight lights? Your light is shaping a different part of the body and subject. And so even as I'm looking at this in real time, I'm seeing the need for more light. Look, this isn't just an expensive hobby where I'm like, we need more light. You're trying to craft uh, the perfect shot without overpowering, right? We don't wanna know that there's eight lights there, but we do want it to look clean and polished. And I'm hoping if you've been watching from the very beginning, you're now seeing this additive nature of the light and you're like, Ugh, I need more light. Um, and so let's add a fifth light. So notice here, while we have a main, a fill, an edge light camera right, the left side of her body is still a little dark and uh, we want a little bit of edge on that side. So I'm gonna add a fifth edge light uh, to fill in that side of her. So let's do it. All right, so we just added our fifth light and I was struggling with it. So the camera was rolling, you were seeing me go back and forth, what was the issue? The issue was, right, I was getting too much spill on the side of her face. I'm gonna show you that image, maybe you like it, uh, maybe you don't. We were having a debate on whether we liked it or not. I did like the way the highlight was shaping the side of her face, but then I felt like it's not really uh, good control of light. And so what I had to do is bring it a little bit closer in the frame and you're gonna see a little bit of lens flare uh, with that, which is not gonna be in the final image, but it is giving us the right uh, light, edge light on her. So now we're seeing an evenly lit shot, clamshell lighting in the front, the outside edges of her body are being lit, and uh, we've got a nice uh, pleasing vignette naturally being created, all straight out of camera, no Photoshop, and so that's important to learn. So let's do it, let's make this shot with five lights before we move on to our next and final setup. All right, so I'm gonna put up on the screen uh, the shot with four lights. I'm not gonna turn the lights on and off anymore. So you see what it looks like without this fifth light being added. So now the fifth light is metered at the same uh, settings as the fourth light, edge light, right? So it's got a um, five degree. Make sure I'm telling you the right things. I don't wanna give you bad information. All right, so it's got a 10 degree on each side grid uh, same light on each side as well, powered at the same. So it's firing off at about 4.0, 4.02 uh, to give us that edge light. And remember, that's about one stop less than our main light. I don't want to overpower the edge light. It should be complementary. So let's do it. All right, here we go. One, two. One more, one, two. Here we go, last one. One, two. Okay. Now what you're gonna see there is that highlight shaping both sides of her uh, face, her hair, the outline of her body, nice lighting on the front. Again, all straight out of camera. Now you are seeing, and I see it as well, it's because of my lens choice. Uh, by using a 50 millimeter lens, that back left uh, light is causing a little bit of flare firing into uh, camera. Quickly fix that in Photoshop. I know I said get it right in camera but then I'd have to be using an 85 millimeter lens and I wanted to use a 50 just to give you a bit, little bit more of sense uh, of how that light is adding up. So, cut me some slack. All right, so that is our five light setup. Hopefully you still follow me. Hopefully you feel like these images are progressively getting better. Um, and again, it should be subtle, but there is something still bothering me. 
uh, edge light uh, or hair light, I should say, the top of her head is still falling into darkness. This is where my sixth light is gonna come into play. And we're gonna change things up here uh, a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go vertical uh, with these two lights behind me. So I'm gonna have two vertical lights firing straight on. I'm gonna introduce a beauty dish from above. So we're gonna have three lights on the front and the back and, and edge lights are gonna remain the same. So let's get setting up on that. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I'm giddy about this last setup. Of course, the lighting nerd in me is gonna enjoy this uh, setup. Uh, you might find yourself thinking, I don't get it, but hopefully when you see the results, you will. Okay, so what you're seeing here is now a six light setup. In the front, we've got two vertical strips, a one by four and a one by three uh, on firing in there. Still exposure of 5.6. But what we did for the top part of her head and hair uh, is we introduced on a C stand a, uh, another Profoto B10 Plus, uh, along with a white, their white metal beauty dish. And I chose white over sil silver because white is a softer light. Silver is gonna be a little bit more specular, harsher, and that's not what we want for this. Again, season to taste. Uh, but now she's being lit in the front by three lights. And then we've got the same two edge lights we did for the four and five light setup, the hair light and edge light. And then we've got that one light firing in the background. Back lights have not changed their settings. Front lights have not uh, changed, they've changed our power output because we're in different locations, but we are still lined up at 5.6. And I'm gonna show you how the lights are looking with and without uh, certain lights on and off. So let's get to it. I think you're gonna love this final setup. All right, for the first shot, I'm just gonna take it with all six lights on to show you what the final product looks like, and then we'll dissect it. All right, so here we go. This is with everything on. One, two. Okay, so that's with everything on and you're noticing uh, from the other shots, now we've got some nice light coming from the top down and really filling in there. And these vertical lights are ensuring that those shadows underneath are being filled in forward. And now we've got even light on our hair uh, and uh, throughout the front of our body. But what does it look like with just that top light on? So let's turn these two off to give you a sense of what that's bringing in uh, to the shot here. Now remember, I'm gonna leave the back lights on. So this is just our top light here. One, two. Now you're seeing, this is actually a really interesting way to dissect it. You're seeing where that top light is hitting and all the shadows it's creating, but it is illuminating the top of her hair and creating some uh, wash light across the front of her body. Now, of course, in and of itself, that's not good. So let's add one light at a time to give you a sense. So let's add our camera right light. Here we go. One, two. Okay, so even if we go to five lights on this, this is not too bad, right? So this has got some directional light coming in. We're creating some nice shadows on the left side of her face, uh, her jawline. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I like that. That's a nice setup uh, as well. But now we're gonna fill in the other side of that to get a little bit more beauty lighting. So you're seeing, we just keep coming back to that same thing, right? As a photographer, uh, as somebody who's curious about lighting, you've got to figure out what looks good. You got to learn your ratios, right? You got to understand how much is too much, not enough light, because then things just start looking amateurish, right? So we want to be able to control how much light, uh, and that's going to be with your lighting modifiers, your light meter, um, your uh, you know direction of the light. I mean, all these things start mattering uh, and compounding as you add more light. So you've got to pay attention to the details. So let's add one. Now we're going to turn this on. And remember, these are the same power settings. Here we go, one, two. All right, everyone, that is a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and wanna see more of them, uh, subscribe to our channel, turn on those alert notifications. We got tons more lighting videos coming. So bottom line, from one to six lights, uh, you can make an incredible difference in the way your headshots are looking. Uh, now imagine, you start putting your own style on it, you start adding different backdrops, uh, this will become truly unique and will elevate your headshot photography to that next level.